How cute is this background that I found on YouTube? Obsessed. I'm gonna be so sad when Christmas ends. Okay, so Jameson and I, the kids love helping me make juice. It's 7.30, Mannix is still sleeping. Um, but I'm gonna throw it back to my OG juice days. I used to feel so good um, drinking Mommy. this and I just Mommy. have gotten off track. Yeah. Okay, you got it? We're gonna turn it on. So I did green apple, lemon, celery, cucumber, ginger. Yeah, we're gonna juice it. And then I have some kale that I already washed and and some spinach. So spinach, kale, and all of this good stuff. I've never added beets inside of it, so I'm gonna do that now. I just got real beets, they're all over my hands. Um, and I will see how that goes, but Bye. here we go. I am hosting my very first beauty counter pop-up. I'm really excited. Um, it's been really fun creating. I just did my whole like makeup look for everybody. Um, and I am starting to prepare lunch, dinner, I don't know, just trying to get it together. I went to the grocery store yesterday. Mannix and I, obviously I go every day. Mannix and I had a little date. We um, had some lunch and then we went to the grocery store and now I'm gonna clean and prep and whatever everything for the week but i was so frustrated because when i was at whole foods i was like get the olipop there i was talking about olipop on my last vlog strawberry vanilla is fire it's just fire but i'm like oh maybe i have to stop at sprouts just for almond milk because whole foods doesn't have the three trees almond milk so I stopped there and I was like, oh, maybe they'll have the grape. Like, I just won't get it. And then I was thinking in my head, what if they're out of it? Because Sprouts is so unreliable. It's like one minute they have what you need, the next they don't. And so it's just risky. But I took the risk and I failed. So I got there. They didn't have strawberry vanilla and they didn't have grape. So they had orange cream. I tried that yesterday. It was just tasted flat. It just was not good. So I just opened this one, cherry vanilla. And I thought of you guys because it's the vlog and I have to share it with the vlog. So let's see. Okay, strawberry vanilla is the best. This one's good, way better than the orange cream. This one is like, it does taste flat too. The strawberry vanilla doesn't taste as flat. Maybe these are just flat, I don't know. Like there is a sparkling, there is a sparkling tonic vibe to it. This one's way better. I really wanna try grape. The orange cream I was really let down. The cola is terrible. For my taste buds like i love this brand anyways i'm not like trying to trash it but this one's good i could do this but still strawberry vanilla the best
have to get used to when I have my parents' car not having tents. I definitely like tents. Um, so I just stopped at 18 Bagels Co. Um, if you don't watch Jessica Stockstill, I think that's how you say it, on Insta or on she's on YouTube. She actually used to live here um, for like a year. And she came back and visited and she was like, this is the best bagel place. And they have coffee. So you just like get, there's only two sizes. There's this and then a larger one. They have coffee ice cubes. I wish I had the guts to really vlog in there. It was really cute. Um, I'm always like panicking. My like heart is like beating out of my chest. But so, so silly. Why, why is it like that? Like what made it like that? But they had coffee ice cubes and then a cold brew on on tap and you just like pour it out and then they had like half and half almond milk all of those things you could also get like um like caramel or whatever syrup but i don't do syrup so i got the jalapeno cheddar bagel okay um i'm so excited right now Okay, sorry, somebody was coming. Somebody was coming. And I'm just so embarrassed. I'm a grown ass woman. Why am I embarrassed? Let me know. Anyways, so Colin and I are gonna do some Christmas shopping for the boys, but he worked last night. The night shift stinks because it's like well they both of the shifts stink because it's six AM to six PM. That's the whole day. But at least you're like getting regular sleep or 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. but then on your day off you're sleeping like you need to get sleep as for me in my house sleep is everything but anyways Jessica stock still I think that's how you say it she's really cute she's a youtuber um she just had a baby she's actually drop dead gorgeous um and I feel like she's really really down to earth like she's not like here look at this eight thousand dollar purse that I bought let me link it because you guys all want to buy it I know um, she just seems really just like your everyday girl. She's very honest about her feelings and her like motherhood struggles and um I really like her, so you should watch her. But she used to live here and then another bigger YouTuber, she's a lot younger than me. I think she just graduated college that is from Tampa is Danielle Carolyn. I think that's how you say her name. She just graduated and moved to New York City, so I when we were moving here, I'd watch like a, her home vlogs and kind of see like where cool places were. But Jessica was just here visiting and she was like, I miss it so much. And she went to a few places and posted this. So I just did the coffee on tap, the cold brew on tap. It's really smooth. And I just did a little bit of half and half. So um, what I realized on this little health journey is that there's so many replacement things and although I really want to steer clear, I haven't had any meat, but I really want to steer clear from, I did have shrimp, um, I really want to steer clear from things that are not, that are fake. So like instead of, I'm not, I'm not going to get a vegan butter when butter is literally just butter and I could use a little bit or I could use coconut oil. You know what I mean? So cream cheese, I'm not going to, um, anyways, I just wanted to show you my little, I definitely think it's really good. We have a couple places by us, like little mom and pop. They're cute, but um, this is definitely the best one that I've been to. You just can't compare to the food in Buffalo. So um, we're going to go do some Christmas shopping. I'll take you guys along with us today. I'm not really sure because my children have everything that they could ever need. And you guys know how I feel about that. So I'll catch up with you in a little bit. I decided I want to let Colin sleep a little longer so I'm going to get a pedicure it's been a minute this is where I go I'm obsessed with it I am such a brat when it comes to my nails like I have like you know when you were little and you would have look at the background I can't even um like your hot dog dog bun would break 
I, I couldn't eat it then. Um, but like when they don't paint to the sides, like all the way to both sides, it just really gets me. So I've had somebody different every time that I go. I think I've had the same person a couple times. Um, Cause I go, I've been a handful of times. I painted my nails clear, they grew, but they grew like weird, so I bit them. Not really bad, but um, I need to repaint them clear. I need to stop, it's just so gross and bad. But uh, I'm gonna get a pedicure, I think I'm gonna do red. I haven't done color in forever. Um, and then I'm gonna go get Cal. I like can't even, I can't even believe it. I can't. I am so car sick right now. The traffic in Tampa in general makes me nauseous. It's so aggravating and annoying and I can't imagine, I was telling Colin earlier, I can't imagine what it's like in like New York, California and like actually living there and having to live through that because I, I can hardly take this. I need out immediately. Um, Colin and I are heading to Armature Works to grab a bite to eat and then we're gonna go get the kids. It's pretty late. It's already 6.20. It's literally taking us an hour to get there and it's annoying and I'm exhausted and I'm so hangry right now and I'm getting car sick. So we have 11 minutes. We've literally gone. It's, it's ridiculous. I can't take it but at least it'll be worth it. Um, and then we're gonna go get the kids like I said. We went to Target. Well, I got a pedicure and then we ended up going to get massages at the place that I go to. Um, and then we went to Target. We got the kids a couple things um, for Christmas. And then I'm trying to think of what I'm, and that's it, literally. And it's already 6.20 and I'm like, where did the day go? Oh wait, I spent all day driving. So we'll be there in 10 minutes, but really probably 30 because it's that obnoxious. And I'll show you guys when we get there. Literally why? Why? Everybody decorated so cute in my parents' neighborhood. Like even how, look at how cute that is, so simple. There's actually this neighborhood that we went to. I Googled last year, like places to see lights. And there was this like famous neighborhood for the last, like, I don't know, let's just pretend 20 years, probably longer, um, where every single house on the street, I think there's only like, what was there only like a, call, a handful that didn't, but um, there was, we went, we showed up and there was a line like, outside the neighborhood down the street and it was really it was so cute it was really definitely worth it and the kids loved it like everybody decorated i'm so car sick you guys i cannot be in the car any longer like not one second longer